Good morning. We gather for a time in the church when we come together to offer our final prayers for our dearly beloved Louis Leonidas. We offer prayers asking our Lord to receive his soul into his heavenly kingdom. We are blessed to be here this morning and we offer our deepest condolences to Maria, the boys, your wives, the grandchildren. Know how much we love Louis and we will pray for his soul. Together with Father Alexander, Father Paul, who came down from Tom's River, a blessing. Together with Father Alex, Father Peter, of course, who had to leave, but his prayers are with you always. We will pray hard that our Lord will receive him into his heavenly embrace. Let us all stand and offer the service. The service is a mixture of hymns and psalm readings that give us an opportunity. It's as if Louis himself were reading these prayers. So let's pray and remember and think about his life as we offer them. My soul is consumed with longing for your laws at all times. Alleluia. My soul is weary with sorrow. Strengthen me with your words. Alleluia. Incline my heart toward your testimonies and not toward selfish gain. Alleluia. Despair possesses me because of the wicked who forsake your commandments. Alleluia. I am among all those who fear you and observe your commandment. Alleluia. Doxa patrike io ke agio pnevmati ke nin ke ai ke istus eon aston eon on amin. Alleluia. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for the rest of the soul of God's servant, Leonidas, Louis, who has fallen asleep, and for the forgiveness of all his sins, both voluntary and involuntary. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. May the Lord God place his soul where the righteous rest. Let us ask for the mercies of God, the kingdom of heaven, and for the remission of his sins. Let us ask of Christ, our immortal King and God. Grant this, O Lord, let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. <laughs> Και εσύ την δόξα να αναπέμπομεν Συν το ανάρχο σου πατρί Και το Παναγίο και αγαθό Και ζωπιό σου πνεύματι Νιν και αγί Και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων Εχείρε σου επίσαμε και πλάσαν με Συνέτησόμε και μαθήσομε τα σε δόλα σου Eleison me, Kyrie. Though I have become like a wine skin in the frost, I do not forget your commandments. Have mercy on me, O Lord. I am your own, save me, for I have sought your commandments. Have mercy on me, O Lord. I have not departed from your commandments that you have taught me. Have mercy on me, O Lord. I have inclined my heart to perform your commandments and await your mercies. Hallelujah. It is time, O Lord, for you to act for they have disregarded your commandments. 
Eleison Magirian. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Have mercy on me, O Lord. To carry you the Ithoman. Kyrie eleison, for you, O Christ, our God, are the resurrection, the life, and the rest of your servant Leonidas. Louis, who has fallen asleep, and to you we offer glory, together with your eternal Father and your all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Eleison, me, alleluia. Son epeme, que le son me, cada to crima ton agapon don ton o masua, liluia. Oh, I am young and despise, yet I do not forget your commandment, alleluia. Hear my voice, O Lord, in your mercy, and in your judgment renew my life, alleluia. Powerful people per persecuted me without cause, yet my heart stands in awe of your words, alleluia. My soul shall live and praise you, and your commandment shall help me. I have gone astray like a lost sheep. Seek out your servant, for I have not forgotten your commandments. Alleluia. Eleison imas o theos, kata to mega eleos, o de methas o epakuson, ke eleison. Kiri eleison, kiri eleison, kiri eleison. Eti deo metha iper na pavsos tis psychis tu kek mi menon dun theu leonidas, ke ipetus korethini aftu pamplim nekusion e ke akusio. Kiri eleison, kiri eleison, kiri eleison. May the Lord our God place his soul where the righteous rest. Let us ask for the mercies of God, the kingdom of heaven, and for the remission of his sins. Let us ask of Christ, our mortal King and God. Amen. Κύριε διδαξόν με τα δικαιώματά σου τον Αγίον ο χώρος έβρε πηγήν της ζωής και θύλαν παραδείσου έβρω καγό την οδόν διά της μετανοίας το απολολός πρόβα τον εγώ ημί ανακάλεσε let us pray to the Lord. For you, O Christ, our God, are the resurrection, the life, and the rest of your servant Leonidas, who has fallen asleep. And to you we give glory, together with your eternal Father and your all holy, good, and life giving Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Of old you created me from nothing and honored me with your divine image. Having transgressed your commandments, you return me again to the earth from which I was taken. Restore me to the original beauty of your likeness. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your commandments. I am an image of your ineffable glory, though I bear the scars of my sins. Master, take pity on the work of your hands, and in your loving kindness cleanse me. Give me, grant me the desired homeland, making me once again a citizen of paradise. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your commandments. Grant rest, O God, to your servant and place him in paradise. 
where the choirs of the saints and the righteous, O Lord, shine like the stars, give rest to your servant who has fallen asleep, overlooking all his transgressions. <laughs> Αγίωσι, ο πατήρο ανάρχο, ο συνάναρχο ήλιο και θείο πνεύμα. Φωτισόνι μα, φυσική λατρεύοντα και του αιωνίου πυρο εξάρπασο. Now and forever and to the ages of ages, amen. Hail, O pure one who bore God in the flesh for the salvation of all people. Through you, the human race has found its salvation. Through you, may we find paradise, O Mother of God, pure and blessed. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 Voixasio Theo. With the saints give rest, we pray, O Christ to the soul of your servant where there is no more pain, no more sorrow, no more suffering, but life everlasting. pleasure of life remains unmixed with sorrow. What glory has stood unchanged. All things are more feeble than a shadow. All things are more deceitful than dreams. For in an instant, <coughs> death replaces everything. In the light of your presence, O Christ, and in the sweetness of your beauty, give rest to him whom you have chosen for you love mankind. As a flower withers and a dream vanishes, every person perishes. When the dead hear the trumpet sound like an earthquake, they will rise again to meet you, O Christ our God. Then, O Master, place the soul of your servant whom you have chosen from among us, O Christ, in the dwelling of the saints. All human things are vain. They do not exist after death. Wealth does not remain, nor does glory accompany us, for when death comes, all these vanish. Wherefore, let us cry out to Christ, the immortal King, give rest to your servant Leonidas, whom you have taken from among us, in the dwelling of all those who rejoice. The mystery of death is truly most fearful. How is the soul abruptly separated from its harmony with the body? How is this most natural bond severed by the divine will? Therefore, we pray, give rest to your servant and the dwelling of your righteous, O giver of life, for you love mankind. I recall the prophet saying, I am earth and ashes. And again, I thought about those in the graves and I looked upon the bare bones and I asked, who therefore is the king or the soldier, the rich or the poor, the righteous or the sinner? 
But give rest, O Lord, to your servant among the righteous, for you love mankind. Your creative command was my beginning and existence, for you willed to form my life out of visible and invisible nature. You created my body from the earth and gave me a soul by your divine and life-giving breath. Wherefore, O Christ, give rest to your servant in the land of the living and in the dwelling of the righteous. Anapavson sotirimon zolvota on metesis as adelfonimon ekton proskeron krasonda Voxasi. I lament and mourn when I contemplate upon death and see our beauty created in the image of God now lying in the grave without any shape, glory, or any form. Oh, how strange what is this mystery concerning us? How were we given over to corruption and wedded to death? Truly God shall command as it was written to grant rest to those who have departed. Glory to the Father and the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Your death, O Lord, became the means to immortality. For you did not lie in the tomb, paradise would not have been opened. Wherefore give rest to him whom you have taken from among us, for you are the lover of mankind. Now and forever and to the ages of ages, amen. O pure virgin, the gateway of the word, as a mother of God, Pray for mercy on his soul. Makaria i Blessed is the way in which you go today for a place of rest is prepared for you. Blessed is the way for you. Ooh. Let us be attentive. I told you, o Lord, my God. Wisdom. The lessons from first epistle of Paul to Thessalonians. Let us all be attentive. Brethren, we would not have you ignorant concerning those who are asleep, that you may not grieve as others do who have no hope. For since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, through Jesus, God will bring with him those who have fallen asleep. For this we declare to you by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive, who are left, until the coming of the Lord shall not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven and with the cry of command, with the archangel's call and with the sound of the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we, who are alive, who are left, shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we must, shall always be with the Lord. Therefore, come at one another with these words. Peace be with you, the reader. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. The reading of the Holy Gospel is according to St. John. Let us be attentive. Glory, Lord, glory to you. The Lord said to the Hebrews who came to him, Truly, truly, I say to you, he who hears my words and believes him who sent me 
has eternal life. He does not come into judgment, but has passed from death to life. Truly, truly, I say to you, the hour is coming and now is when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God, and those who hear will live. For as the Father has life in himself, so he has granted the Son also to have life in himself, and has given him authority to execute judgment, because he is the Son of Man. Do not marvel at this, for the hour is coming when all who are in the tombs will hear his voice and come forth those who have done good to the resurrection of life and those who have done evil to the resurrection of judgment. I can do nothing on my own authority as I hear I judge and my judgment is just because I seek not my own will but the will of the Father who sent me. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray to you, hear us and have mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Again we pray for the rest of the soul of God's servant, Leonidas, Louis, who has fallen asleep, and for the forgiveness of all his sins, both voluntary and involuntary. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. May the Lord our God place his soul where the righteous rest. Let us ask for the mercies of God, the kingdom of heaven, and the remission of his sins from Christ, our immortal King and God. Grant this, O Lord, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. O God of spirits and of all flesh, you trampled upon death and abolished the power of the devil and given life to your world. Give rest, O Lord, to the soul of your servant Leonidas, who has fallen asleep in a place of light in a place of comfort, in a place of refreshment, where there is no pain, sorrow, or suffering. As a good and loving God, pardon every sin which he has committed, whether in word or deed or thought. For there is no person who lives and sins not except for you, the only sinless one. Your justice is eternal justice, and your word is truth. Tu querido de Tu que aqui me menos zulu su leonida, Cristeo Theo Simon, que si te invoques a nana pembomen, sin do anarcho su patri, que to panagio, que agazo, que zopio su pneuma tinin, que ahi, que isto se onas, toneo no. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. For you, O Christ, our God of the resurrection, the life and the repose of our departed servant Leonidas, who has fallen asleep. And to you we offer up glory, together with your eternal Father and your all-holy, good and life-creating Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to your God, our hope, glory to you. May Christ our true God, as the immortal King who rose from the dead and has dominion over the living and the dead, through the intercession of his most pure and holy Mother, the holy, glorious, and blessed <coughs> Apostles, our holy and God-bearing Fathers, the holy and glorious forefathers Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, his righteous friend Lazarus who lay in the grave for four days and through the prayers of all the saints give rest to the servant of God Leonidas departed from us in the dwelling of the righteous in Abraham's bosom and among the saints may he have mercy on us and save us as a good and loving God Eternal be your memory, our dear brother, worthy of blessedness and eternal memory. Eternal be your memory, our brother, who are worthy of blessedness and eternal memory. <laughs> Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
the hymns of the funeral service offer us an opportunity to take a step back from the life we're living in, to take a step back and to put our focus on heavenly things. We come here today, many of us in shock, sadness, anger maybe, and we come here to offer our final goodbye to our servant, Louis Leonidas. But we do so with a certain joy. And I say that because a certain joy about the man who is here right now. A certain joy because of the kind of life that he lived. We think about the theology of death in the Orthodox Church, and it can never be separated from the resurrection, from life. So when you think of these beautiful icons we have of the crucifixion of Christ dying on the cross and then going down into Hades for three days, and if you look over to the right, the resurrection, you see that Christ is now rising up, taking up two people with him, symbolic, an old man of Adam, symbolic of an old woman Eve, and raising them up to paradise, and thus the gates of paradise are open forever for all of us here. For all of us here now, there's an opportunity for us to be with our Lord forever. The hymns of the church are so beautiful. The choir of saints has found in you, O Lord, the fountain of life and the door of paradise. Christ is that door to paradise. May I also find the way through repentance. This is as if Louis himself was saying these words. I am a lost sheep. Call me back and save me. And then a little later on, there's a beautiful line that speaks of, O Master, cleanse me by your love and grant me the desired homeland. Now in Greek, that word is patrida. So for somebody who comes from Greece, andros, the beautiful island there. The Patrida, automatically people say, well, Patrida is my homeland. It's where I came from. But this hymn is saying a little different. This saying is, no, that's not your homeland. Your homeland is making me again a citizen of paradise. Our homeland is not any earthly place, but it's rather a place, a heavenly place, a place where we are called to be. So although, and allow me to say, Leonidas came from Andros, Greece. I remember going there once, and the Mertemi winds. The winds were very, very difficult to get to, and it was not easy as we were going back and forth, back and forth. And then as Leo grew, as Louis grew, he then came to America. New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Philadelphia there, and then down here to Boca Raton with his beloved wife, Maria for the past 20 years. And I would say that in life, Louis had, those Meritemi winds were with him all throughout his life. Life was not easy. But because of the person he is, he made them joyful. And I honestly say that in Greek, the word, there's a word, kirios, and that means gentleman. I think all of us agree that this man here was a true gentleman. Faith, family, That's how he lived his life, faith and family. It's actually a great reminder for all of us, the clergy in the altar, you here, that our lives must be centered on Christ. We know that in his last moments, offering a prayer. In his last minutes on earth, reading his Bible. In his last seconds, with his beloved wife, Maria. And although that's such a difficult time, that's a blessed time that you are with him to the end. But this is not the end. And we know that this is just the beginning. In Greek, the word for Easter, we say pascha. It means Passover. A Passover from death to life. On the cross, as we said, to the resurrection. From death to eternal life. Today, Leonidas begins his Passover from death here to life in our Lord's kingdom. And I can say confidently, with love, 
and knowing the kind of man that he was, the life he lived, the wife he had, the children he raised, the grandchildren he loved, the daughter-in-laws that he brought in as his own, his friends and family that surround us here, that Leonidas is resting with our Lord. He's resting with our eternal Lord in his kingdom. I've asked a dear family friend, Father Paul, to also offer a few words as I really want him to. Maria, he knew you on such an intimate and personal way and he traveled all the way from Toms River, New Jersey to be here, a dear brother, a dear friend, and I offer, ask him to offer some words for his dear friend, Leonidas. Thank you, Father Mark. Mary and family members, everyone here, Yes, our hearts are broken. We are very, very sad at this moment. But what are you going to do? That's life in the big city. And these people here are laughing and shaking their heads because every time you would engage in a conversation with Louis, it would always end up saying, eh, what are you going to do? That's life in the big city. <laughs> I'm glad we're happy because we should be sort of happy. Because what Father Mark said is very, very true. This is the beginning of a new life, okay? And Louis is in that big city. He's living the life in the big city. And as Father Mark said, that big city is called paradise, the place that Christ has prepared for us. And we know that. We know that because he made a promise that he made a place for all of us. And all of us here today, we are all grounded in Scripture. We are all devout Orthodox Christians. We know what Orthodoxy stands for. We know our theology. And we certainly know that in Scripture, Christ made many promises. And he fulfilled all those promises while he was here on this earth. So that promise that he says to you and to me is that there is this place. And we try to imagine what this place looks like, where it's at. But you know what? Our minds can't comprehend that. Our minds cannot comprehend this place called paradise. So we have to put our faith and our trust in the Lord and know that Louis is home, the place where his parents are at, his grandparents, where all of us will be in that big city, in that new life in the big city. And that's where all of us, my dear brothers and sisters, are going to end up in this beautiful place called paradise. I don't want to speak any longer. I know all of us here are here for one reason, and that's to pray for Louis and to give strength to Mary and her sons, grand wives, grandchildren, and so forth. So again, please, thank you all for coming. Pray for Mary. She has difficult days ahead of her. Difficult days ahead of her. We're all here to love her and support her today, but we have to remember that there's tomorrow, next week, next month, next year. This is her home. I can imagine she'll be spending a lot of time with her sons, with their families, and I know that you will welcome mom to your homes whenever she wants to go with Athena too. Don't forget <laughs> Athena, okay? Louis' little baby. So in any event, again, thank you all for coming and praying with us today. Thank you, Father Mark and my dear brothers in Christ uh, for allowing me to come and uh, chant this beautiful memorial service for our dear good friend and brother Louis. Louis, that's life in the big city, my friend. Enjoy it, and we shall see you very soon, God willing. Amen. Thanatos, 
Άγιος ισχυρός, Άγιος αθάνατος, ελέης τον ημάς, Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy. We offer the final blessings. We take oil as a symbol from the Old Testament of the presence of life. If we remember that the olive twig, we know that at Noah's Ark, the dove went out and came back to see what there was life and an olive twig he brought in its mouth, a sign of new life, but also then a little bit of sand and dirt symbolizing from dirt we are all come from in the Garden of Eden and from dirt we shall return. You take one. You shall sprinkle me with hyssop and I shall be made clean. You shall wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. The earth is the Lord's and everything therein, the world and all who live in it. You are earth and earth you shall return. We will now process Leonida to the hearse where we will drive to the Boca Mausoleums for the final interment. As we are bringing the body out, we sing the beautiful Aios Otheos, Aios Iskeros, Aios Othanatos Olesenimas, the Trisayun hymn, the hymn that tradition tells us the angels sing when our soul is being escorted with our Lord. Oh, ye, oh, so Oh. 
Blessed is the way in which you go today, for a place of rest has been prepared for you. Macaria y odos y porio simeron, o ti y tu mithi sus topos on apasos. 